So, what a fantastic night this is. Yes. And David good. Copperfield has done very, very well. Yes, we're very fortunate. In, in bringing this work to the screen, yeah. how did you feel you had to update anything, change anything to kind of make it more relevant, do you think, to today's no, audience? No, well, that's the thing about it, and that's why we wanted to do it, is that it's, it's a very modern piece of work. I mean, the modernity is there on the page, and we felt in some other adaptations it gets lost when people put their bonnets on and, and it gets to the screen. But it's a very modern take on relationships, it's a modern take on mental health, it's, it's a modern take on identity and, and, and where you fit in. It's, it's, a, it's a, some fantastic themes running through it of, of poverty and, and, and sex and family and all of those primal things. So it was it needed no updating at all really. It was just it's all there. It's just you you can it's bringing out those bits and bringing out the comedy as well, which is what we what we wanted to do from the get go. Well, of course, I mean, obviously, you know, Armando is, is well known for that, but also the satire and the social sort of and political context. In today's age, these stories seem to be need to be told. If that makes sense, would you agree? Yeah, I mean, I you know, London now has a level of, of rough sleeping I haven't seen for years and years and years and we, we're, we're covering that in the movie of, of the um, you know London in the 1840s was was the most important place on earth it was the hub there were great great riches there but there was also incredible poverty and to see that still as an issue is a terrible thing but it's um, it's 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 a relevant thing and I think we don't hammer it home in the movie but we we touch upon it and we it's one of our one of the things we wanted to bring out and having Dev Patel as your, as your leading man, that must have been something amazing. How was it seeing him bring the character to life on screen? Well, he does, it's such a difficult role, uh, it's such a difficult thing to cast David because he has to be, he has to be Dickens, because Dickens wrote David Copperfield of himself, so he's got to have that authority and that spark. Um, but he's also got to be able to play 16, 17 and be vulnerable. Um, and, 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 and all of the, everything in between those two extremes. And, um, and, and I can't think of many, if any, actors of Dev's age, apart from him, who could have done it. He's just astonishing, and it was such a pleasure to write for him. He's, um, and he's a great physical comedian as well. He was doing, which we didn't know, but he was doing some fantastic physical stuff as well. That's wonderful. And so what's next for you then? What are you working on at the moment that we're looking forward to see? Um, well, I, I've got a, a sitcom I'm doing with uh, Martin Freeman and Daisy Haggard for FX which we've shot 10 episodes of um, and so that's out in March I think next year and uh, I've been working on uh, Avenue 5 which is uh, Armando's uh, Hugh Laurie in Space extravaganza. What can you tell us about that because Hugh Laurie in Space is what it's being sold as but it's, it's clearly something much more than yeah. that. Well we can't give anything away other than David Copperfield is, is Hugh Laurie in Norfolk and uh, Avenue 5 is Hugh Laurie in Space and we, yes we can't don't want to spoil it because there's some big things happen and we don't want to spoil it. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck tonight, man. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!